Welcome guys, it is Andrew here again from iDownloadBlog. This is going to be our unboxing and hands-on of the new kind of old iPhone SE. So we have the 16 gig model. It comes in both 16 and 64, depending on what you're looking for. And for the 16 gig model, it's only $399 and it's only $499 in full for the 64 gig model. So this is Apple's most affordable iPhone that actually kind of has the newest specs. In this video, we're going to just focus on unboxing and what you get of the phone itself, a high level overview, but we will be posting our full review very shortly, so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that. So the too long didn't read of the iPhone SE is basically, it is the iPhone 6S in an iPhone 5S body. It comes with the A9 processor, a fancy new 12 megapixel camera on the rear. Unfortunately, the front camera is still lacking, coming in pretty underwhelming at only 1.2 megapixels. That's compared to the iPhone 6S that's sporting five megapixels on that front eyesight camera. It has all the other latest features like Apple Pay, live photos, and even 4K video. In the box is included a small little packet that includes some nice Apple stickers, a getting started guide, and some legal information. You also get that power adapter as well as the lightning cable. And of course, the often controversial Apple EarPods. As you'll notice, the phone itself looks pretty much like an iPhone 5 or 5S. The chamfered edges around the edge are no longer as shiny, they're pretty dulled down. There's an SE logo there on the back and a new stainless Apple logo right in the center. Apart from those, I'd basically pretty much be sure I'm holding an iPhone 5S. Now, while this is only a high level overview, we have gone away pretty impressed with our time with it so far. It's an extremely powerful phone for being as small as it is. So stay tuned for the full review and let us know in the comments if you have any initial questions. Other than that, please subscribe so you can see all our other videos and maybe this was a little bit useful. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.